Coach O'Leary definitely depends on his seniors. That's year in and year out. He basically charges the seniors. The coach is famous for saying that the team goes as they go. So if they go up, the team goes up. Everything about seniors. Coach depends on seniors a lot. We lead the team. You're only as good as your seniors. And it's a, kind of a rite of passage. The seniors are the ones that have invested the most in the program, have been here the longest. This is their last college football team, maybe their last team that they'll ever be associated with. I think we do have a great group of seniors, and I think that we can band together and get the job done. We do have to step it up, step our games up a little more and be more of that leader because there's so much fewer of us but I think we, we have a great group of seniors. I think anytime you you know you become a senior in any program, it's really strength by numbers. Unfortunately, there's only a few numbers here in this senior class, but I think these guys have done a great job. They lead us by example. They've been in this program four or five years, and they've done it the right way, and I think that's the key in how they can relate to the younger ball players. I think, you know, we appeal to the seniors to kind of be the barometer of the football team, to uh, set the standard, and to hold the younger members of the team to that standard. Collectively, you know, the guys do a great job, especially with being a small senior class, but as a group, they are able to kind of pull it together. The vocal leader might be one or two guys, the lead by example might be a couple other guys. So as a group, they're able to, to really kind of get the team going and, and get it going in the right direction. We have a lot of experience in our juniors, a lot of juniors are stepping up, but the seniors that we do have, that we've, we've been here a while, you know, all of us have experience playing, and me, the twins, Jeff, Chris, you know, we all have a lot of experience. So the guys, they respect us, they listen to us. It's harder, but you got some juniors that are stepping up, like J.J. Wharton, Blake Bortles, Storm Johnson, those guys who, who's been stepping up and helping us sing it with the younger guys. So it's, it's pretty hard for the, the singers to do it, but we also have some juniors that are stepping up as well. What's great about the O-line is that Coach Key instills in us just not only seniors have to be leaders, that everyone in the room can be a leader. Just doing the right things and watching people see you do the right things is going to make you a leader. So uh, the young guys, like even Kelly Parker, the young freshmen, Tariq, Joey, all of them are just doing the right things and showing that, that when we leave, UCF will still be in great hands. Well, it's new faces. I mean, we go through a full year last year, finished with a bowl game. There was a lot of growth in that group. You know, I thought we continued to make improvement throughout the year, and I thought the bowl game was probably one of the better games that we played. Once you exit those seniors in that group, and then you watch those kids develop through the offseason and through spring, I think that their development has been good. It's been steady and we've got a long ways to go still. Only so much can come from the coaches, but when you got the players policing each other and providing that peer pressure to do things the right way all the time, that's when you have a chance to be a really good football team. The chemistry is so important, the leadership, all the intangible things are so important in a winning football team and really in any winning organization.